B3 cloning plants. Now gardeners are quite familiar with making genetical identical copies of plants. They take the plant, take cuttings with a new bud on, and they put the cuttings in moist conditions until they're ready to plant, and then they grow that plant and have a better plant that's been genetically identical. Cloning plants is easier than cloning animals because they keep their ability to differentiate. And differentiate is a very important word and it basically means to specialise for a certain job. And animal cells lose this ability at an early stage. Commercial cloning often involves tissue culture. Now, to commercially clone a plant, you first choose a plant clone based on its characteristics. For example, a beautiful flower, a good fruit crop. Then you remove several small pieces of tissue from the parent plant. You get the best result if you take tissue from fast growing root and shoot tips. You then grow the tissue in a growth medium containing nutrients and growth hormones. This is done under aseptic, sterile, conditions to prevent growth of microbes that could harm the plants. Finally, you would move the tissues to potting compost once they start to produce shoots and roots to carry on growing. growing. And hundreds of clones can be made from just one parent plant. Now, the commercial use of cloned plants has pros and cons. A pro is you can be fairly sure of the characteristics of the plant because it's genetically identical to the parent. So you'll only get good ones and won't waste time and money growing not so good ones. It's also possible to mass produce plants that are hard to grow from seeds. However, there are some negative sides to this all. If the plant suffers from a disease or starts doing badly because of a change in environment, then they'll all have the same problems because they all have the same genes. And there are also the usual problems that you have with lack of genetic variation. And that is all about cloning plants.